welcome back to the CES 2012 in Las Vegas. We're at the booth at Balkan. I want to show you some really, really cool new stuff. Um, Thunderbolt router. We're together with Andrew, and Andrew will show us what we're talking about here. Andrew, nice to meet you. Andrew is from Balkan, and he's going to answer some questions for us. You know, have a specialist here, an evangelist, maybe. <laughs> uh, he can answer the things better. Andrew. First, explain us what exactly is it. Right, so this is a Thunderbolt Express dock. It, um, it takes advantage of Intel's Thunderbolt technology. We use the high data transfer rates. So it, Thunderbolt, you can tra transmit data 10.2 gigabits per second. So you can essentially download a Blu-ray movie in 30 seconds. It's really fast. So using that technology, we're able to incorporate a docking solution. So on the back of this dock, there's eight ports on the back. There's three USB 2.0 ports, an HDMI out port, a Firewire 800 port, a Thunderbolt port, an audio out, and a gigabit ethernet port. And in the front of the dock, there's also another Thunderbolt port as well. So um, that means if I put a FireWire device in here, I could transfer the data over the Thunderbolt? Um, so the, the connectors will transmit at the rate that they're spec'd at. So for example, USB 2.0, yeah. you can transmit at 480 megabytes per second. You'll download at that, that speed. Um, for, the, for the Thunderbolt port, though, if you connect a Thunderbolt hard drive, um, we've seen other suppliers with Thunderbolt hard drives. It'll transmit data at that rate, at 10 gigabits per second. So that means all in the back is where it goes in and in the front is where it goes out? Or how, how do I understand? Right, so we've, uh, for Thunderbolt, um, the, down, the port in the back and then the port in the front actually can go upstream or downstream. It really depends what's plugged into it. Um, the way we've built this model is that we put one on the back for downstream and one up one in the front for upstream. So it just makes it easier for you when you connect to your desktop. You just have one cable coming out and all the other eight cables coming on the back. So it's a really nice, uh, elegant solution when it's sitting on desktop. Keeps it clean and very neat. Actually, that means I could put a Firewire in, a USB and HDMI signal and get it all in here and get it all out through Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's the, that's the beauty of Thunderbolt is that with this dock, you can connect everything that you have on your desktop. We really looked at the Mac user to see what they have. Yeah. Right, and incorporate everything onto one solution. Yeah. One of the biggest frustrations that Mac users have is that they constantly have to plug in cables. That's and true. if you're and if you're a MacBook Air user, you have limited ports. So this provides that solution for all the MacBook users. Uh, so I could even, you know, uh, we're in a hotel and we have big issues with Wi-Fi, so we had to connect with the right. cable. Fortunately, we have a MacBook Pro with us, so we put the cable into this and we share the internet connection with my MacBook Air. So with that, it would be history, right? Right. So that's one of the things too with the gigabit Ethernet port is people who go into the desktop workstation, you know, sometimes they don't want wireless. Sometimes they want the fastest connection possible. So with this, we're going to bring you um, gigabit Ethernet speeds, so 10 one thousandths of a megabytes per second. So it gives MacBook Air users that option if they want to connect hard connect hardwired to their internet connection rather than wireless. Actually, I think this is an awesome device. Um, when do you think it's available on the market? This will be available September 2012. In Europe, in USA, or worldwide? Um, worldwide at select major retailers. What do you think is surprising about it? Um, about this product? Yeah. Um, you know, um, for me personally, I really enjoy the fact that how sleek and elegant it is. One of the things that we uh, really tried to incorporate was a really sleek and clean design. And uh, we, w we really want to complement the Mac user and their desktop workstation. So, um, also another feature I wanted to point out on this is that on the bottom of this dock is this channel. And this channel will allow you to route your MagSafe uh, PSU cable. So now you have a PSU cable coming out and your Thunderbolt cable. The only two cables you really need to get connected. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, it is. Well, uh, about the power. I need a special power cable or get power through Thunderbolt? Yep, so we, uh, with the spec, we provide you a, a PSU. The power adapter will um, power the USB ports so you can connect external powered hard drives okay. and also provide support with Thunderbolt so you can provide the 10 watts of power and the downstream connection. And it would still work if I, let's say I connect three hard drives through USB, have a FireWire device and take a Thunderbolt device in. It would still all work? Correct. Yes, um, the, the, the power adapter will, supply, will support all connectors. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, what do you expect about the expense of it? Is it, uh, I heard someone told me it's about $300. Yeah, correct, the retail price on this is gonna be 299 
same. I guess the same in, in Europe. Germany might be two two ninety nine euros. Uh, correct. Okay, Andrew, that was really cool. We are excited about the product. I thank you for your time. Well, I hope you have still a lot of success here, and I'm sure you will have with that device. Thank you a lot. Bye.